Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. The first edition of Cityscape Bahrain 2022 has been extended until the end of Friday due to the massive flux of visitors since it opened on November the 22nd. The Survey and Land Registration Bureau President, Real Estate Regulatory Authority Chairman Sheikh Salman bin Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa announced the extended closing day, highlighting that the decision was taken due to the success of the expo. Cityscape Bahrain 2022 is the largest real estate exhibition held in the Kingdom of Bahrain, featuring projects worth 893 million Bahraini dinars. Seven major real estate projects were launched at the exhibition that aim to further enhance the real estate sector's competitiveness, contributing to the development of the national economy. Organized by Informa Markets, the expo featured a broad range of exhibitors showcasing dozens of large real estate projects comprising of 10,000 properties. The expo is being held at Exhibition World Bahrain under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Bahrain Chamber for Dispute Resolution hosted a roundtable discussion on the topic of Bahrain, a seat for international commercial arbitration at its offices in the diplomatic area. The meeting discussions highlighted the attractiveness of Bahrain as a seat of arbitration. The event was attended by more than 30 representatives of both the public and private sectors, including the Vice President of the Supreme Judicial Council and President of the Court of Cassation, Sheikh Khaled bin Ali Al Khalifa, the Chief Executive Officer at Bahrain Chamber for Dispute Resolution, Professor Naseeb Ziadi, and lawyers representing arbitration and law firms. In his opening remark, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa presented a brief overview of the steps taken by Bahrain over the past few years to bring its legal framework in line with leading pro-arbitration jurisdictions, describing the steps undertaken since 2000. He observed that as recently as early 2021, Bahrain committed to a number of access to justice initiatives at the heart of which lies a dispute resolution ecosystem focused on alternative dispute resolution, including arbitration and mediation. He also highlighted the supportive attitude of the Bahraini judiciary towards arbitration and stressed the desire of the judiciary to participate in the conversation on how to bolster arbitration in Bahrain and Bahrain being a seat for arbitration. The BCDR Chief Executive Officer Naseeb Ziadi followed with some general considerations on the significance of the seat of arbitration. Professor Ziadi examined some of the key considerations that go into choosing a particular seat of arbitration. He observed that an arbitration-friendly seat is one that is equipped with pro-arbitration legal framework with a modern international arbitration law, providing the necessary framework for facilitating the fair resolution of disputes. He then presented, in light of the aforementioned considerations, the existing legal framework in Bahrain. The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna bint Ahmed al rumehi received the Royal Life Saving Bahrain Chairperson, Her Highness, Sheikha Naila bint Hamad bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, where they discussed ways to enhance joint cooperation. The Minister praised the role of RLSB and its plans and programs aimed at enhancing safety while practicing water sports. They discussed joint development plans to develop the coasts in Bahrain's coastal housing cities. For her part, Sheikha Naila noted the importance of communication and cooperation between the two sides, praising the efforts of the ministry in providing housing services to citizens and its keenness to support community partnership and initiatives that serve the citizens. The president of the Electricity and Water Authority, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed, and the chief executive officer of the Bahrain real estate investment company Idama, Amin Al Arayid, signed a memorandum of understanding to provide the Blaj Al Jazair development project with electricity and water services by 2030. The MOU was signed at the Exhibition World Bahrain on the sideline of the launch of Cityscape 2022. The EWA president, Kamal bin Ahmed, said that under the agreement, two power transmission stations with a voltage of 66 kilovolts will be built and connected to the current network, providing 92 MVA of electric power. The project will also be supplied with 10,000 cubic meters per day of water through the main water transmission network. Mr. Kamal added that EWA will carry out the construction and operation of the two stations, the water transmission and distribution networks within the project after its construction. 
Idama, Chief Executive Officer, expressed thanks to EWA President for supporting the Bilaj Al Jazeera development project. The Undersecretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, praised the historical brotherly relations, the close political and diplomatic partnership between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King and the custodian of the two holy mosques. The statement by Dr. Sheikh Abdullah came during the second meeting of the Working Group of the Political Coordination Committee emanating from the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council and the first meeting of the General Secretariat of the Council, which was held under the chairmanship of Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa for the Bahraini side and the Saudi Undersecretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, Dr. Saud bin Mohammed Asati. Both sides reviewed the areas of political and diplomatic cooperation and the comprehensive strategic partnership in light of the initiatives emanating from the Saudi Bahraini Coordination Council headed by the Crown Prince and Prime Minister His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The working group of the Political Coordination Committee focused on discussing the progress made in the areas of political consultations, coordinating positions in confronting external interferences, and rejecting extremist ideology. The General Secretariat of the Council followed up on the recommendations and initiatives of the five subcommittees, the achievements made in terms of enhancing cooperation and strategic partnership in various fields, and the most prominent arrangements related to the next meeting of the Council.